talk this morning. I had a family gathering <laughs> yesterday, and my nephew, Gunner, 13, I believe, was telling me he keeps a $5 bill in his pocket all the time in case he sees a homeless person. Aww. And we had this beautiful conversation about, um, he, he was kind of, I don't know if he was upset, but he didn't like that people assess whether they deserve to be supported or not. He doesn't ask, he doesn't think, are they going to go buy cigarettes with it or alcohol? He just says, that's a person who needs something, and I have something, and so I want to give. And he's a 13-year-old. Um, and, uh, you know, growing up in relative privilege, uh, but understands that, you know, there are others that, that didn't, you know, have the breaks that he had. And he's explaining all this to me, you know. So I thought it was kind of beautiful, and it made me think about how much the work we do relies on people who open their hearts and give. And lately we put out the call and a lot of people have stepped up. Uh, so I thought today the reading would be Gibran, Khalil Gibran. Uh, then said a rich man, speak to us of giving. And he answered, you give but little when you give of your possessions. It is when you give of yourself that you truly give. For what are your possessions but things you keep and guard for fear you may not need them tomorrow? There are those who give little of the, of the much which they have, and they give it for recognition, and their hidden desire makes their gifts unwholesome. And there are those who have little and give it all. These are the believers in life and the bounty of life, and their coffer is never empty. There are those who give with joy, and that joy is their reward. And there are those who give with pain, and that pain is their baptism. And there are those who give and know not pain in giving, nor do they seek joy, nor give with mindfulness of virtue. They give as in yonder valley the myrtle breathes its fragrance into space. Through the hands of such as these God speaks, and from behind their eyes he smiles upon the earth. It is well to give when asked, but it is better to give unasked through understanding. And to the open-handed, the search for one who shall receive is joy greater than giving. Therefore give now, that the season of giving may be yours and not your inheritors. You often say, I would give, but only to the deserving. The trees in your orchard say not so, nor the flocks in your pasture. They give that they may live, for to withhold is to perish. Surely he who is worthy to receive his days and his nights is worthy of all else from you. See first that you yourself deserve to be a giver and an instrument of giving. Khalil Gibran.